everybody out there in a tightrope walk right at the tippy top. On a gray August morning in 1974, atop the newly built World Trade Center, a 24-year-old Frenchman stepped out onto a steel cable a quarter mile above the streets of Manhattan. This is this turning of the page. Now, nearly 35 years later. These are actually the historic shoes of the, of the World Trade Center. These are the one that I, I, actually you see the mark of the cable here. The story of Philippe Petit's clandestine quest, the six years he plotted to sneak into the Twin Towers, has become an award-winning film. And this month, Man on Wire is up for an Oscar for Best Documentary. And death is very close. Petit says even he was on the edge of his seat watching it. I'm thinking, is he going to make it? And I am like, you know, my, my palms are sweaty. And then I realize, okay, I'm the guy, I'm, I'm here. In 45 minutes on the wire that morning, he crossed the 140 feet between the Twin Towers eight times before police coaxed him off. For me, I was not gambling my life. I was doing something much more beautiful. I was carrying my life across. Petit, who started as a Paris street juggler, later walked across the city of Frankfurt and between Paris's Palais de Chaillot and the Eiffel Tower. Now nearly 60, he still trains three hours a day at his home near Woodstock, New York. This cable is actually a, a piece of the actual cable I was walking on between the Twin Towers. He's not only walking across that type rope, but he's also occasionally sitting down. Can you still imagine it now that they're not there? They are there. They are there. Those towers, I, to me, they were alive. They were almost human. They breathed. They moved. They, they allow me to pass. They smile when I walk. And I still see them there. And they are in my heart, of course. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.